world's largest airship, the Hindenburg, named after the former German president, sails over New York on its way to Lakehurst, New Jersey. The date was May the 6th, 1937. She just returned to America from Frankfurt in Germany, one of her regular transatlantic flights. As the Hindenburg neared the end of her journey, as usual, she dropped her mooring lines from about 300 feet. She was almost at the mooring mast. Then, disaster. Detachments of sailors from the nearby Lakenhurst naval base rushed to help with the rescue, but there was little anyone could do. In all, 33 passengers and crew died in the accident. The United States government immediately ordered an inquiry into the disaster. And over in Germany, Hitler announced that all future flights by hydrogen-filled airships would be banned. These huge airships were kept up by hydrogen-filled bags built between the superstructure. One theory for the cause of the accident was that static electricity built up during a recent thunderstorm had ignited the gas, causing an explosion. Whatever the exact cause of the tragedy, it led to a complete rethink about the value of airship travel and quickened the pace of the development of other forms of air passenger transport. Another quite separate effect of the Hindenburg disaster was the boost it gave to the fledgling cinema newsreel programs of the day. These dramatic Pathé pictures did much to increase the popularity of the newsreel as a growing window on the world. 